Good morning, families. Um, first and foremost, if you want the chart, the story, the quiz at the end in a PDF form, uh, send me a message on ParentSquare and I can get that out to you, okay? This right here is Everly. Everly was screaming in the bouncer. She was screaming on her playmat. She was screaming in the swing. I noticed that she doesn't scream when she's right here. So she's going to help me teach this lesson today. Today, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to expand on last week's lesson. Last week's lesson was using the pictures to help us figure out words we don't know. What if the picture doesn't help? Okay. If the picture doesn't help, the next strategy we need to go to is something we call stretchy snake. Okay. Stretching the sounds out of those letters and mushing them together to make words. Okay. So stretchy snake, what the chart says is slowly stretch each letter sound to make the word. Like this right here. SH is going to say shh, shh. I is going to say eh. P says put. Stretch them out. Ship. Smash them together. Ship. Okay? And that's basically all we do. Okay? That's going to help us figure out the sounds, or I'm sorry, uh, some words we don't know or some words that the picture clues won't help us with. Okay? So today we're going to read about something that, with it being springtime, with lots of rain and the temperature changing, something we might see on the sidewalk outside our house. And that is earthworms okay earthworms today we're going to read all about earthworms the story is written by mary ann marazzi okay all about earthworms earthworms are let's stretch some sounds out here amaze amazing amazing Earthworms live in soil. Soil. Okay. Most earthworms are small. Small. We've seen all of these words on the page before us, right? Earthworms live in soil. Some Earthworms are big, big, right? Once again, some more words we've already seen. Earthworms live in soil. Most, most earthworms are brown, brown. Earthworms live in soil. Some earthworms are. Now, you can do either. You can use the picture to help you with this word. What color does this earthworm look to you? Starts with an R, right? Red. But if we don't use that picture, we can still use our letter sounds to figure this one out. R-E-D. Red. More words we've seen before. Earthworms live in soil soil. A few earthworms are blah, 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 blue, right? Earthworms live in soil. All earthworms have rings, rings. Earthworms make the soil Good, good for gr o ing growing plants. And that's the end of our story. All right? Let's take a look at our quiz. So parents what parents and the family members, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through all the answer choices first, and then I'm gonna read the questions and answer choices. If you want to try it at home by yourself, hit pause. If not, just let the video keep rolling. We'll go over the answers, okay? What is a fact about earthworms? A, earthworms live in water. B, earthworms live in soil. Or C, earthworms eat plants. What is the detail from the story about earthworms? A, some earthworms are blue. All earthworms are the same. Earthworms have legs. Three, how might the earthworm have gotten its name? A, it looks like a ball. B, it has a round body, or C, it lives in the earth. Four, why did the author write this story? 
A, to inform the readers, B, to entertain the readers, or C, to persuade the readers. <coughs> Five, listen to the sentence. All earthworms have rings. What is a ring? Is it A, a long rope, B, a circular band, or C, a small body? And six, extended response. Have the students talk about, dictate, or write why the pictures are important in the story. Okay, and that's uh, the extended response is always a question that uh, we're not going to go over the answers for necessarily because on some of them the answers could vary, but it's something you could go over at home. Okay, number one, what is a fact about earthworms? Do earthworms live in water? No. Do earthworms live in soil? Yes. Do earthworms eat plants? I don't remember reading about earthworms eating plants. I do know that earthworms live in soil, live in the ground, right? That's a word we heard over and over again. Two, what is the detail from the story about earthworms? A, some earthworms are blue. Yeah, some earthworms are blue. B, all earthworms are the same. Do we read about earthworms that are the same? No, we read about big ones and small ones and red ones and blue ones. C, earthworms have legs. Did you read anything about earthworms having legs? I didn't either. I think it's A. Some earthworms are blue. How might the earthworm have gotten its name? A, it looks like a ball. Do you guys think an earthworm looks like a ball? No, I think it looks more like a snake because it's long, right? Uh, B, it has a round body. It does have a circular body. Let's read that last choice anyway. C, it lives in the earth. I think that's how earthworms got their name because earthworms live in the earth, right? In the dirt, in the soil. Why did the author write this story? To inform, entertain, or persuade. Inform means to give us information about something. Entertain means to make us laugh or tell us a story. Uh, persuade means to try to get you to do something. I think the author wanted to inform readers or to give us information about earthworm. So I'm going to say A in four. Five, listen to the sentence. All earthworms have rings. What is a ring? Is a ring a long rope? Do we see any earthworms with a long rope, even though they look like one? No. B, a circular band. Okay. Or C, a small body. Now, going back to the book. All right. Going back to the book. Now, to Mr. H, wait for it. There is nothing small about that earthworm's body, right? That is a huge earthworm. So I don't think it's C. I don't think it's A. A circular band, just like Mr. H's ring right here. A circular band. If we go back to that picture, do you see all the little circular bands that look like they're stacked on each other? Maybe a better picture is, let's see, this one right here. Doesn't that look like a bunch of Mr. H's wedding rings stacked next to each other? Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I'm going to have to say... B, a circular band. And six, have students talk about why the pictures are so important in this story. Um, normally we don't go over this one. I might be able to go over this one with you guys. I think the pictures are uh, important in the story because they help us understand all the differences of earthworms. I can look at this picture and tell you how this earthworm is different than that earthworm, right? I can look at this picture and tell you how that earthworm is different than that earthworm. I can also look at the pictures and tell, talk about how they're the same. Right, they all have rings. Okay, they're all long and look like a rope, right? So that's how those pictures, uh, that's why those pictures are so important to the story. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next week. Say bye, Everly. We'll see you guys. Take care.